and that I can learn from that encounter with uh, your Muslim friend Ali is that Muslims we have to practice and we have to be a good example for our fellow Americans and people of humanity. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Fun and Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna thank everybody that have been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you so much. For the people who are giving us suggestions, you guys are amazing. Super amazing. Keep on doing so. We are in the road to uh 13,000 subscribers and we're gonna get there probably in a few weeks from now and it's because of you guys thank you so much and if you want to be the first person to watch our video make sure to turn on that notification bell and you'll be the first person to watch our videos whenever we post them and for the people who are just commenting on our comment section below who are giving us good information um, uh, what do you call this information that are priceless thank you so much and the people who are actually uh, hating on the comment section we have no bad feelings we are here to just do reaction videos and we are here to actually entertain you guys and probably one of these videos that you're watching is going to change your life probably it's going to make you feel better it's going to make you feel uh, more um, worthwhile and stuff like that so yeah i mean there's nothing to hate in this life man let's just be good people out there anyway so right about now we're going to do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people and they suggested that we should go react to american boy converts to islam his his advice to the youth so let's find out why he converted and uh, what type of advice is giving to the youth. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Sabil Ahmad. I am in Guiding Light Islamic Center. I'm here in the parking lot. Next to me, you may be wondering, who is this youth? All right. Why don't you say who you are? He's like really special. When I met, you know, there were so many guests who came today. When I met him, I said, wow, this person I need to interview. He's special. Who are you? Um, my name is Sam Swift, uh, and I'm a 15, I'm a sophomore in high school. I go to Trinity High School. Oh, he goes to Trinity High School. And you may be wondering, who are watching this video, maybe this is a Christian guy who believes in Trinity and takes Jesus as Lord and Savior. Do you? No, sir. So I found out that, alhamdulillah, our brother Sam, he is a revert to Islam, he converted to Islam. And uh, somebody forced you, correct? No. Nobody forced you. Mashallah of your own choice. Huh? Alhamdulillah. So why don't you mention briefly your story, I mean, who introduced Islam to you? And uh, what, what teachings of Islam attracted you? That of your own choice you studied and then you became a Muslim. Yeah, so um, it was all in like sixth grade, um, you know, and at the time and still of course today, you know, the media is always demonizing Islam, you know, terrorism, 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 all the shows like, it's like, you know, terrorism. Uh, and my parents, they're always pretty cool about it. And, you know, they said, you know, this is not really, really Islam, all right? Uh, and so I, I was I was reading about it online, and I had a friend, uh, alhamdulillah, really, still my best friend to this day. And I started off sort of mocking him, and, you know, like, you know, bond, uh, like, you know, I mean, I wasn't, like, trying to, like, actually, I didn't, like, actually hate Islam. I was just being kind of a scumbag. like, you know, oh, you know, bombs, you know, flying carpets, stuff like that. And, um, but I asked questions, you know, he asked them, and there are good answers. And uh, I admired, like, because uh, the main pull factor, one of the main pull factors was, like, the discipline uh, that Islam had. Uh, because I was, I was pretty... What is the example of that? Um, that you have, you, you know, really modest, you have to carry yourself good. Uh, and I'm not saying that I like, do that, I'm not a, obviously not a perfect person, I have some, but I just admire that, I admire that part that brought me in, and, uh, just, you know, respect, and, of course, submission to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, that, that was that was some of the main core factors, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, when I met Sam and he introduced himself, he was wearing the full toe, by the way, right? And the third one, the toe he has in the backpack. But alhamdulillah, you introduce yourself, that of your own choice. You know, what important lesson, Sam, that I can learn from that encounter with uh, your Muslim friend Ali 
is that Muslims, we have to practice and we have to be a good example for our fellow Americans and people of humanity. Yes, we can teach and we can preach and give them a choice, but we have to practice that. And I believe your friend Ali has done a good job. I hope so, right? Of course, yeah. yes. And second important thing is, uh, we need to have the knowledge to correct the people. If people think that you know Muslims are extremists and terrorists and threat to society, I think Ali did a good job, your friend, to introduce to you what Islam is and what Islam is not. It's a good lesson for the youth and all the Muslims. So I want to ask you this question, what about your parents? How, how, what was their reaction once they found out that you know my son, Sam, converted to Islam? What was their reaction? Um, I think that it's actually pretty unique. My parents, they were actually really, they were pretty tolerant about it um, because they, they weren't like, you know, they're not like strong. They're, they're raised Christian, but I guess like they're sort of like agnostic and deist. Um, and so, you know, they, they, they were they were supportive. Um, and ma mashallah, they're so they're really good about it. And they just don't, they just don't want me to like, uh, and it's, it's kind of understandable. They just don't want me to, um, to like try to make it a big a part of their lives, like they, so, you know, this yeah, yeah. But you know, brother Sam, uh, you have two obligations. I mean, there are so many obligations. Two obligations. First obligation is to share the message of Islam with your parents. Yeah. You know, you want to go to paradise. I want to go to paradise. All of us. But we also want our parents to be there, don't you? So it's really important that by your good words, good actions, becoming the best son anyone can ever have. That would be one of the ways to lead them towards the truth of Islam and the guidance of the Quran. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Of course, yes. That's Second obligation that you have is to make sure that if you have siblings, yeah, yeah. if you have brothers and sisters, you may have, uh, you know, your friends, non-Muslim friends, you're going to, going to a Trinity school, yeah. basketball team, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know about basketball team, but uh, this, I think it's like a uh, rather an real thing or some like okay. one you could say. I see. So one big lesson I want your Sam to share with all of us would be, you know, nowadays in the 21st century, it may be so in all the centuries, youth may have so many temptations, so many problems, so many distractions in this world. And look at you, mashallah, good example. I mean, may Allah make all of us better. I mean, right? But what message that you have? One, to the Muslim youth. Second, to the non-Muslims who may be listening out here. Um, my advice to the to Muslim youth and non-Muslims is to uh, not just not just sort of just go through the motions of life, you know. Like actually, you know, especially for the Muslim youth, you have to you you are Muslim, right? You've been blessed that you you were born a Muslim, so you have all the tools that you that you like that you need to succeed. You because you, you you know your parents will be behind you if if you're being raised Muslim. So take advantage of that and uh, use and. and and, and go into the religion, you know, learn about the religion, make it a part of your life. Don't, you, you can't just say, you know, I'm a Muslim and, and then just go, go to the masjid because your parents tell you to, pray because your parents tell you to. You have to, you have to, you have to make, you, you have to be your own Muslim. You can't just be some, just go through the motions, all right? You have to just look, actually look into Islam, read about Islam, and it'll bring you closer to Allah. And what advice that you have for our non-Muslim brothers and sisters out there who may be thinking Muslims are threat? Um, what would you say to them? Just don't believe the mainstream media because they, these these reporters are not they're not Islamic scholars they're not ulama. So what my advice to them would be to to actually if, if they want to they want to actually you know find truth uh, then 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 actually then learn about Islam. Don't just don't just take it, it, it uh, face value from what the media says. Excellent advice. So learn Islam, not from the Fox, the CNN, the fake news, the White House, but from the Quran and the last Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know, when I listen to the, your advice, uh, you said you are what? Fifty years of age? Fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Yes. Mashallah, your advice is as if you are like a wise fifty-year-old person. Mashallah. May Allah keep you guided. May Allah give hidayah, guidance to your parents, to all of humanity. And may Allah keep you blessed and all of us blessed. Man, wonderful. Congratulations. Welcome to Islam, brother. Assalamu alaikum wa Hi, uh, that was uh, that was a good video. American boy converts to Islam. Interesting. Um, just like when you look at the Americans, uh, I'm not saying everyone, but when you look at the way they perceive 
Islam, the way they look at it, the way they profile it, especially the mainstream medias, uh, the CNNs and the, you know, those Western media corporations, they put a lot of, uh, a lot of, they put a lot of hit, they put a lot of um, bad image in the Islam community or something like that. They make them look like they are bad people. They make them look like they are people of no association to be with or something like that. I feel like, uh, <clears throat> I think it's just an agenda to uh, probably uh, separate people, an agenda to make people believe that this is a bad uh, religion, uh, an agenda to, uh, it's just like a divide and conquer type of rule, you get it? So I feel like um, him converting to Islam is not a bad thing, I mean it's a choice and the best thing is that he wasn't um, forced to. That's the best thing. But if someone forces you to, that's where the problem comes in. You can't force somebody to become something. You, you get it. I mean, let that person have his own uh, share, uh, his own uh, share will of wanting to, you know, uh, probably convert or something like that. So the best thing is that he did not uh, get forced. And that's a very good thing. People have choices out there. You can you can you can decide to to become Muslim. You can decide to become Christian. You know, uh, it depends on what religion you feel more peaceful in. You get it. it depends on what uh, religion you feel more more uh, palpable. Probably understanding. You feel like this is where I belong. You get it. A lot of people convert into Islam nowadays and a lot of people also convert into Christianity so there's no judgment there you get it there's no judgment and I, I, people who judge one another because you're you're Christian or because you're uh, from Judaism and all these other religions out there or because you're Islam I think these type of people are ignorant to to just uh, even think like that you can't just start thinking that this religion is better than that religion or that religion is better than this religion. I, if we start doing things that way, I think we actually start to deteriorating from the common understanding uh, that we have as, a, as, as, as humans, you get it. The common knowledge, the common understanding that we have, the common factor that we have is that we worship one God, you get it? We worship uh, Allah, we worship God, we worship, you get it? So we just have different, uh, we call what, like, I don't want to say channels, but we have different books that, that, that teach us differently, you get it? Uh, different prayers, different um, uh, 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 system kind of thing I get it so I mean it's but it's only one way we we, 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 we we pray to one God I think we should we should be able to look at things that way but for anyone who wants to convert to any other religion it's not a bad thing it's a good thing if you find peace that's good for you and for uh, this boy right here 15 year old boy he actually found peace in Islam by actually learning that there are they are more consistent, they are religious enough, and they are disciplined, and they are really cultured, they are really stuck to their own religion, and they feel, uh, they believe in their religion, they believe in Islam, they believe that uh, this is the right, uh, this is the best, or this is the right religion to be in, and according to their own uh, According to their own opinion, it's good for them. You get it. So anyway, guys, if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in the comment section. Tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction. What do you feel about this video right here? Uh, American boy converts to Islam. His advice to the youth. A little bit of controversy there, of course, American boy. But anyway, 
uh what do you think just let me know in the comment section what do you think and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least we're gonna see you or rather i'm gonna see you in the next video and peace out